right, all right, Black Tree TV. We are here with Miss Lisa Bonner, Executive Director of Be Well, and that's the Black Women Entertainment Lawyers, correct? Yes. Foundation. Foundation. Yeah. Now, now tell the tell the audience. Why uh, why the need to, to have a, a Black Women Entertainment Lawyers Foundation, and what's your scope and and goals, and what do y'all what do y'all do collectively? Well, what the impetus was behind it was, a, as a professional group of lawyers, we individually get a lot of requests to do interviews, to do mentoring, and ask, can you can I have five minutes and chat with you, which we would love to do, but. The, because the sheer volume of requests we get, it makes it a, a, impossible. So we thought we could effectuate more change on a broader level by bringing together a larger scope of women to assist us and giving their stories and pooling money for scholarships and grants. And, you know, there's no separation between the student members and the attorneys. We all work together to plan the direction and visioning of Be Well. The only thing that they're not a member of is the scholarship committee, obviously, because we are giving out scholarships and grants to them. So, But other than that, it's a very inclusive organization, and we, by working with them, we do prove to be role models. And how long have y'all been around? We have been established as a 501c3 foundation since 2008, and uh, we started in 2006. Just a group of us poolside at another conference, and we're just talking about how we could really help people, and it grew from four women to, we, we pulled together an army of women to help us launch it, and now we've got, an, it's a nationwide foundation and organization. I'm so excited, I'm so proud. And obviously you're a successful attorney and executive uh, yourself. Uh, when you look back, uh, what was the, the, the push or the help that, that you could point to that helped you, like, you know, well, recognize you? There were people that kind of reached out, reached back if we were to reach out, but we were, one of the main reasons that we started this is because there's so many of us now compared to when we started and when we came up there weren't a lot of women there was Louise West who is obviously a legend in our in our industry but there weren't a lot of women lawyers to really help us and so there are now and so the part of the problem that we saw we went in the past there not being um, a plethora of women to assist and you know, uh, bring people along. We thought that, you know what, we're here and we could do something on a greater level and, you know, reach back and pull the women up. So that was, we've been successful in doing that. Okay. And it's BET Awards weekend. Is there anything in particular you're looking forward to seeing at the, the show or this weekend with all the parties and performances going on? No, um, Jill Scott is one of, uh, Warner Brothers is one of our sponsors, so she is having a one wonderful party tomorrow, so I'm definitely looking forward to going to that. And my longtime client, Lupe Fiasco, has a radio show tomorrow, so I'm going to do that. And that's, I like coming back to L.A. so I can be a part of, we do a lot of stuff in New York, but it's good to come back and see people on a different coast. And I used to live here, so I've got a lot of friends and um, colleagues out here I'm excited to see. I'm just, I'm excited to be back, so... And I'm excited that everybody has come out. So thank you very well, thank much. Thank you for your time. You're looking beautiful. Why don't you tell the audience what you're wearing? Because we've seen you out there posing. If so. I knew, I would tell you. I don't have a stylist yet, so I don't know. I'd be like, can you look and see my tag? Because I have no idea. Well, we know it looks good. Well, thank you. Yes, I can tell you where I got it. I just don't know who makes it. There's nobody like Givenchy or anything like that. Not quite yet. Well, thank you for your time. But thank you. Thank you.